Um, Jan, first of all, if I could ask you about Philip Billing, given the uh, racist abuse he suffered on social media, mm -hmm. what was your view of what happened? My view? First of all, I can say that we as a club and me personally, we don't tolerate something like this. This is unacceptable for me. This is like a brainless commentar. Yeah, so this, uh, you know, racism at all should not be tolerated. And uh, yeah, I'm, uh, uh, I can't believe that something like this happens still today. How has it affected Philip? I spoke to him this morning. And uh, I think he's, he's fine. So he trained also today, and uh, we spoke about it. And uh, you know, I'll, I'll back him in this case. Given the situation then, and given the focus on performance and where you are on the table, does it, mm. in some ways, free you up to play with a bit more freedom? Given that no one expects you from this point to stay up. Um, as I said, I don't like the term freedom, you know, because you always play for something. So freedom is something different for me. So I won't agree with freedom. It's it's still about going to the pitch and uh, you know there's some situation which you have to solve and this is uh, the focus for us. But it's a different kind of pressure isn't it? There's a different kind of pressure when everything is on a game that you know you have to win with a chance of staying up versus the pressure where nobody expects you to get the results that you need. I think we have to focus it in another way. Uh, think of how many games this team won since last year of March. You know how many games we won? I don't. Tell me. <laughs> Including my game, which we won with our team against Wolves, it's four wins since March of last year. And this is important to know. So the thing is still to go in a, let's say, work in progress in England, I think. Yeah, to go in a work in progress and to, to try to help. And this is still the aim. So from your time here now, then, what, what do you think is the major thing that's been missing between turning some of those defeats into those wins? In a way, it's easy. We scored two less goals. And the quality is so high in Premier League that it's uh, that sometimes one mistake um, punish, punishes you directly. Yeah. Um, just want to ask you about the injury situation, because we saw a bit of a training earlier. Mm -hmm. I think Eric Durham was missing, didn't see Terence or Laurent. <laughs> I mean, can you give us an update as to what the situation is? It's easier to talk about the players who were at the training ground, huh? isn't it, like that, <laughs> who were on the pitch. So, unfortunately, there's, there's many at the moment. Um, still, Adama and Isaac are missing. We have Didi, who's still missing. Lolo, who's missing. Uh, we have Hoggy, who's missing. So. It's a big impact, of course, and uh, TK had problems still, so um, we have to look at them. And also, Eric Dome had yesterday in training a small, small problem, I hope, so he couldn't train today, but maybe tomorrow. Um, whom else? I hope I've not forgotten someone. Tommy back. Uh, we have Tommy back, yeah, so he's not suspended anymore, the positive thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but still, I think I've forgotten someone, but uh, let me think. I think you got yeah, I'm good. I think so. I think I've okay. And just to find it were it were a lot already, so yeah. not easy. <laughs> to, exactly. yeah. not easy to I think we had 15 who were he healthy on the pitch today. So yeah, and we know that West Ham has a big squad, a very big squad. So yeah. Danny Williams. Just to find uh, Danny Williams. Danny Williams is still out. <laughs> Couple of I knew there was someone. The, um, what do you make of West Ham at the moment? Good team, I would say. Good team, strong team, physically strong, uh, large amount of players. I also think that they developed quite well in terms of bringing youth academies up, uh, youth academy players who are in the squad at the moment. Um, very quick team, so interesting to play against them. Yeah. Anybody in particular that you would say would be would be key for them? No, they have, they have uh, certain key players, not just one particular. They have certain key players. Yeah. Anybody that you can talk talk to us a little more about? No. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> They seem particularly strong at home, much more so than away. You know, it's, it's a strange situation where they can't mm -hmm. seem to be consistent away from home in the way they are at, at home. I think games at home are always different than games away, so um, we have to face this. And uh, it's like having solutions of, of how they play at home, so we have to find our way to, um, to look at our style to, to do it there.